Hello, hello. Ah, oh, trying to get a clear spot here. Make sure I had a cloth to wipe things up with. Sorry, I'm just trying to plug. Oh goodness! Oh goodness! Oh goodness! Oh goodness! I'm trying to plug the light in. Plug the little light and. All right, let's just take that off there because it doesn't want to. There we go. Hello, hello, everyone. The um, cats went out this morning and there's, there's, there are muddy paw prints all over my desk. <laughs> so. All right, I've had a couple of questions already. That's good, that's good. And I will get right to reading on those. So, okay, Super Bowl Sunday, yes it is. I hope everybody can hear me all right. I have my microphone on. Hello, hello Hanani. I hope I'm pronouncing your name correctly. <laughs> Question, can I move to the moon? Yes, you can, absolutely. You won't live long, but you can. Yeah, absolutely. Can't roller skate in a buffalo herd, but you can sure try if you got a mind to do it. Okay. And today is the second. The groundhog did not see his shadow, therefore we're going to have, um, oh good. Uh, so we're going to have an early spring, apparently, or it's not going to be delayed. It's Sunday. This went blank there for a second. All right, I'm so glad you guys are here. Seriously, it's this this energy. It's getting to me. I'm 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 not gonna I'm not gonna front. I'm not gonna front. I'm not gonna pretend it's not. Um. The the because I knew. Tension had been building up for so many years, and then suddenly, um, Jules Derrimore just said the groundhog did not see a shadow because Trump was standing in front of the sun. That was good. That was good. I like that. That was good. Um, the um, it, okay. Energy was building up, and it was just very, very stressful. And we, you know, we waited for the Mueller report to come out, and it came out, and it was a big eh. And it, not that it is an eh, but the um, it came out during a Mercury retrograde. Not great. And um, you know, but then the whole impeachment thing started, and we got the um, yeah. The energy is great in the chat, but um, it's just been, you know, the, the the phone call came out. And it was like, oh, my gosh, this is so obvious. And then the impeachment thing, and it went to the Senate, and they are so corrupt. They are so corrupt. So, um, and, you know, I, I'm reading on this collective energy, and I, it's, but I'm doing okay. I mean, I'm doing okay, and I hope you're doing okay. And I'm going to keep showing up every day. I'm going to show up every day. And I'm going to read on this, and I'm going to see what we can find out. And um, can the House call Bolton to testify in the House? Yes, they can. Yes, they can, Jill Carter. It was the only reason they, they didn't. It had to do with uh, basically the White House taking them to court and how long it was going to take in court. Uh, positive energy is good, is good, yes, uh, and, uh, yeah, and I believe, uh, Kirsten Langston's having a live stream today as well. Kirsten is awesome. So, uh, first thing I want to read on is, are any of these, let's do, let's use a, the, uh, Housewives Tarot. Are any of these senators who voted for no witnesses and nothing, you know, <laughs> decency, you know, reasonableness. I mean, Sh Schiff was even up there, like, offering, look, we'll have a day. 
one day of depositions, you know, one day of hearings, you know, a week of depositions, you won't even have to be there, you know? And, uh, you know, it, it, they were so unreasonable. So the question is, I'm gonna shuffle over here a tiny bit, tiny bit quieter. The question is, are these senators, sorry, this is a request, uh, and a, good, and a very good one. Are any of these senators going to have a, oh my gosh, what have I done moment? Are any of these Republican traitors, sorry, traitor, we are in a war. We are in a war. Our, our elections have been attacked. Our, um, you know, foreign money, foreign corruption um, is happening. And we have traitors in our midst who are siding with the enemy for their own their own power so are any of these republican traitors going to have an oh my gosh what have i done moment benedict graham Benedict McConnell, Benedict Alexander. Oh yeah, he did it. He's absolutely guilty, but that's not worth removing him for. He broke the law. Uh, law schma. Oh, well, that's the thing. The world has seen this. The world is watching. The world has seen this. Uh, they had to vote on this in public. Because if you think about it, so much of this so far has been very weaselly. You know, it's, well, just table this motion, but it doesn't count as it actually voting it down or, you know, no, it's voting it down. In the past, they could, they could do whatever they wanted. They had the House, they had the Senate, they had the presidency. They, they thought they were all that. All that. All that with extra that. Center the reading. But everything is building up against the Orange Fuhrer. They know he's corrupt. They know what he's doing. Heck, half of them are involved. And, you know, if they're not involved, they're certainly not standing up to him. Base of the reading. But they're making decisions to... to to placate a very unreasonable base. I'm just gonna say it like it is. Very unreasonable base. A very uh, 1950s Caucasian base who uh, doesn't want a modern world. Above the reading. And they are constantly having to clean up for this Orange Fiera. They are constantly having to cover for him. And they're sick of it, but they're still doing it. And it doesn't matter how sick of it you are if you're still doing it. 51, Nancy says, 51 senators wore their red coat on Friday, siding with the Mad King. They're traitors to our country. Yes, they are. And they need to be voted out. Hello, hello everybody. Quick thing, just thank you to our moderators. Larry Girl has gone above and beyond, but but seriously, Kathy W, Keisha, Linda, uh, Sue Ellen, um, just Ian. I mean, just everybody. You've you've really gone. You've done a great job moderating, and thank you, thank you so much. Uh, John saying pandering to the cult. Yes, yes. Near future. Uh, yeah, this is the Senate vote that's coming up, and that's Mitch McConnell. That is the best card of all the decks, and that is the best card for Mitch McConnell. Just twisting everything around. Just twisting everything to, to just suit what he wants. Okay, home environment. But there are some people taking the high road. Yeah. And, and it isn't even like 
Mittens is, uh, you know, taking the high road. M mittens is clueless. Mittens is perfectly, just that perfect, huh, what? Discontent. His seat is safe. He, he does what his constituents want, what he wants. Eh. Um, and Susan Collins isn't hurt. She, they, they gave her room. They, they made sure she had room to vote again, to vote, uh, to vote to have witnesses and documents, but she's do not. Yeah, I will trust her as far as I could throw her. Um, but there are, there were people in the Senate taking the high road, like Schiff, who's just come, come out as a, as a hero fighting against the, you know, the, what seems inevitable, but isn't, it's just really hard right now. So, hopes and fears. Uh, they they did it because they were afraid of being primaried, and afraid of Trump attacking them. Your party has been hijacked, and just like when your plane has been hijacked, you don't just sit in your seat and go, "Oh well, I guess that's just how it is." No, not how it works. What other people see, they're cleaning up after Trump. And those are very, very smelly, smelly feather dusters from all the garbage, all of his garbage they've had to um, clean up. Final outcome. Oh, this is gonna be rich. Oh, this is gonna be rich. Because what I'm getting is right now they're like, Oh, well, I'm doing what I need to do to get reelected. And then, you know, you go for the reelection. And if it turn, starts turning into a problem, then some of them start apologizing. Oh, I'm so sorry I did that. No, they're not. They're not sorry. Oh, no, no, no. I'm so sorry. I, I don't know what I was thinking. I just, you know, I, I thought I was doing, but I, I made the wrong decision. You could change your mind. Now you know what's wrong now. And just because you're up for election doesn't mean you get to try to gaslight the way that McConnell does, the way that Dershowitz, oh my gosh, that man, he gaslights so much that it's like the, it's like the room is toxic with the smell of, of uh, that sulfur smell they put in, in natural gas. So what I'm getting is the ones who... Yeah, basically, no, they're just going to waffle later on if they're, if they have to face up to what they did. So 51 redcoats vote them out. Absolutely. Absolutely. Please do not forget these Republicans when we go to vote. I'm with you guys. I'm so with you guys. Okay. So So will Republicans, what did I do moments? And the answer is, eh. Okay, next question. Will Roberts expedite the tax lawsuit? Oh, see, the thing is, Fudge Muffin, the thing about your name is, I don't know if it's just meant to be a swear word, so I'm like leery of saying it a little bit because it could mean a, a lot of different things. But then again, if we're talking about like baked goods, I'm so there. You know, chocolate muffins, especially if you can, if you can manage a vegan Vegan chocolate muffin, I'm, I'm there, I am so there. When it comes to, when it comes to carbs and sugar, sorry, I'm total, total enable, total enabler. Fudge and baked goods is awesome, yes it is. But anyway, um, let's ask about that, Supreme Court. Will the Supremes fast track? Well, Trump, it isn't even just the taxes, Trump cases. 
because right now it's, you know, most uh, for a lot of these cases, they're not expected to have a, a, a Supreme Court ruling until kind of it all comes out at the end of the term in June, I say. You guys are so great. You're helping me. You really are. It's, I guess it's. I guess that's the problem sometimes with wandering into this energy every day. Because suddenly it just went whoom. It's like the floor dropped out of the energy, and it's like, oh, okay. Suddenly I didn't. You know, I didn't realize I was standing on an elevator down to a really dark level, and it's like, oh, okay. All right. Well, I'm not alone. So, and I can still see light up there. So we'll get out of this. It'll be all right. Whew, all right. So, you know, and you just have that moment of, uh, no, I'm not alone. Hello, Sue Ellen. At the bottom of Pandora's box is hope. Absolutely, Linda. Okay. Is uh, the coronavirus a true pandemic? Uh, Sandra, I will throw a few cards on that, but I, for last time I looked, no. Um, it's, you know, it's more dangerous than some of the viruses out there, but once you realize how many people get the flu every year and how many people die of the flu every year, the numbers are not quite as, it's like, oh, 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 that's a great question. Who said, who asked that? Is Roberts afraid of Trump? I doubt it, but let's see. Could be. Afraid of Trump. Great question. Uh, oh, and I have my, I have my, uh, I've got pink and red nails for uh, February. So these are the pink nails. All right. Will the Supreme Court fast track the Trump cases? Uh, can we take a moment to just send really positive energy to Ruth Bader Ginsburg? Just, just bless you, good woman. Bless you. Bless you for your service to our country. Bless you for the hope you give us. Bless you for standing up for what's right. All right. Will the Supreme Court fast track Trump cases? Oh, uh, this, it seems silly, but the, it's like the male energy, cause I'm, it's like the collective energy and it's like the male energy on the court doesn't like the housewives deck. It's not serious enough. It's actually too focused on women. And it's like, oh really? Don't, you, you don't like the strong woman, woman-focused deck, do you, for this reading? Oh, what a shame you don't, uh, don't like strong women. There's so much to choose from. I mean, they, they've, there are so many cases. I mean, there are, there are so many Trump related cases. It's yeah. Where, where would, you know, where do we start kind of thing in the past? Roberts tried, tried, I'm not saying he succeeded, but he tried to get some kind of bipartisan, um, let's rise above our party views tried. Eh. Center of the reading. Oh, 
there's a lot to clean up after when it comes to Trump. Trying to clean up after Trump. Gorsuch and um, Kavanaugh. Sorry, whenever I, whenever I, uh, especially Kavanaugh, whenever I hear those names, I feel like I should like spit on the floor <laughs> every time after I say their names. Um, yeah, there's, it's like there's resentment. I'm feeling, ever since I started this reading, I'm feeling some, some resentment, some gender difference resentment under there that I, I haven't picked up on before. I mean, not surprising, it's there, but it's it feels very strong. Base of the reading. The Democrats and people with Democratic, who are leaning Democratic, they have some very good arguments. There are some very solid cases sitting there in front of them, in front of the, the, the Supremes. Above it, uh, <clears throat> there's a there's a whole lot of money and, and arguments on the Republican side um, for them to keep their power. Materialism, fighting for materialism is what it feels like. In the near future, oh goodness, well, this, it feels like it kind of, it feels like we have nothing as, as Democrats and then suddenly, whoosh, it's a, a lot, like they're looking at a lot or, or a ruling that will affect a lot of other cases at some point. That's good. That's good. I like it. Six of Cups is my favorite. My favorite card in the deck, too. It's a card of generosity. Home environment. Decisions. Personal decisions. This is this is like the um, this is like the minor arcana version of the justice card. It's decisions. Hopes and fears. Uh, the fear is that the court is going to be seen as so partisan. And if, <clears throat> even if, if Roberts wanted to like move the Trump cases up to like keep things, keep things going, get it moving, um, he's certainly not going to try to pull what the Senate just did with no witnesses, no documents, no, yeah, he's, he's horrified by that. He thinks that's despicable. <laughs> And you did nothing about it. So, yeah. But he doesn't want the court being dragged into partisan stuff. It's like, dude, it's already in partisan stuff. Good luck. You know, you can pretend it's not that you're above it, but you're not. You're not. All right. What other people see? Oh, yeah, just doing what the, the Republicans tell them to do. Yeah, okay, just let Trump off. Yeah, just let him do whatever he wants. Oh yeah, the the emoluments case. Yeah, just just say that these these people didn't have any grounds for bringing up a case against them. It's like, well, who has who had then who has the right to bring up a case against Trump for the emoluments? Oh, that's not for that's that's not in front of us. So, we're not going to decide on that. That's that's what we've seen so far. They do they do nearly nothing. It's like, oh, okay, we're gonna we're gonna shoot down the travel ban. And then suddenly we hear, oh, they're adding com they're adding countries to the travel ban. The, the White House is adding countries to the travel ban. So it's like, Phew. oh, John, are you headed out? See you later. It's very frustrating. I hope I have, I'm hope I'm not running people off with with like my frustrations, but I'm just trying to just be honest, just, just be honest and get honest answers to the reading and, you know, really see what the lay of the land is. So that's, that's what's going on here. Uh, when you win some, you lose some.
Uh, yeah, it's a mixed bag. It's very much a mixed bag. But, but are they going to, because this right here, this definitely, this definitely feels like, it's like we're just sitting here going, just being frustrated with nothing and then suddenly, shazam! Oh, okay. But, yeah, the final, you know, how are the cases going to turn out? How is it going to, yeah, it's, it's, where there are solid, where there are solid investigations, where there's solid, you know, documentation where there's solid stuff there. Yes, Other, uh, it, it, though, that's good, but it's going to be, you win some, you lose some they're, they're for the Republicans. All right, let's ask specifically about people getting access to Trump's taxes. So that's, the, that's in general. And again, we're talking about the Supreme Court. Trump's tax info. Okay. Hello, Sienna. And if you're here and you have not you are not subscribed to Sienna Rose, the Sienna Rose channel. Uh, run, do not walk to do that. She is great. All right, we're looking at will the Supreme Court, um, will they roll to, for actual oversight, uh, for access, uh, legitimate access to Trump's tax information? Well... The Supreme Court. And then I'll look at is is Robert scared of Trump? But all right, T Trump's tax information. Oh, forensic accountants. I'm seeing people I'm seeing people putting on their, their glasses and you know, you know, like me, I, I, this, these are, um, these are actually trifocals, but they're, they're verifocals, so you, you don't see the lines, but yeah, I, uh, I was upset when at 37, uh, I found out I needed trifocals, and, uh, I called my dad, and he's like, yeah, I was 37 when I got mine, it's like, oh, this is genetic, he's like, yes, oh, but anyway, yeah, I'll have trifocals for the rest of my life. But I see people, you know, putting on their glasses and, and getting the tax information and, you know, tilting your, your head back the way you do when you're trying to see out of the bottom. My dad loves auditing corporations' financial paperwork. God bless him. God bless that there are, there's, you know, there that's the, the best, the absolute best thing about astrology is what it says is, Everybody's different and everybody's supposed to be different. Oh, Larry girl, at 40 I had to get a hip replacement. Oh, bless. Oh, bless. Uh, tax information. You mean about him laundering money? Laundering so much money. So much money. So, so very, so very, very much money. 37 had cataract surgery. Oh, bless. Okay. In the past, oh, people have been trying to to uh, get that information, and it hurts them every time something comes out. Uh, center of the reading. There are a lot of people asking for it. A lot of different people trying to get hold of that information. Okay. Base of the reading. Um, they've, they've been um, throwing up smoke screens. They've been, you know, it's like when 
oh, good grief, there's so many names. It actually is escaping me at the moment. Um, there was the head of uh, an oversight committee who was trying to get Tom, they, they look at taxes. Oh, thank you, Deborah. Thank you so much. The, but they were trying, they were trying, their, their job is to look at taxes and to make sure that everything's being done correctly. And they said, we want, you shall, look at the law here, you shall turn over these, um, you shall turn over these, these tax information. And it was Mnuchin who walked over and said, uh, no. It's like, well, you can't just say no. It says shall. Well, tough. Um, and they've just been, it's like, you can't do that. Well, I'm doing it anyway. It's just kind of the, how they do most everything. Above the reading. Yeah, the, the Democrats saying, look, there's, there's vice there. There's vice there. And this needs to come out in the open. We need to see this. In the near future, oh, oh, they're going to, Oh, they are going to, there are people really who are going to go to the wall to protect Trump's taxes from, from being divulged to oversight. Oh, seriously. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you so much. Uh, this is, this is like, it's why, why would you do this? But this is people being really stupid about their, their the, you know, the cult. Oh my gosh, why would you go to the wall to protect Trump's records of oligarch money laundering? I mean, and, and it's, it's Barr, it's Mnuchin, it's, it's more people than that. It's like, what? Home environment. There are a lot of indications, not just what we even what we see in the uh, media, but there are other indications by people who who know more about finances and finances that it's there's all kind of screwy stuff in there. So that's this King of Swords is, is investigations, and they've got so much. It's like, I, but there's yeah, there's something screwy there. The IRS commissioner wrote, Lama Bryant saying the IRS commissioner wrote in an op-ed before he got the job saying that taxes can't be divulged. Who's surprised? Who? Who is surprised? Please, please read on Mnuchin. Oh, Mnuchin of Versailles. One of my favorite uh, elaborate covers I did was about when he was um, speaking before Congress at the hearing. It was... Yeah. Anyway, um, hopes and fears. They do. Everybody is fearing the wrath of Donald. Why? He's a bully. Um, you and I said it at the same time. Um, he's a bully. He won't even, he, you know, the man who is your fired. He won't actually even fire people. He's seriously, um, stand up to him. He can't handle it. He cannot handle it. But they're just, they're in the cult and they're cowards and it's showing what other people see. Oh yeah, Pelosi leading the way. Pelosi standing up to Trump. Uh, sometimes quite literally. Oh, okay, I'll read on Mnuchin. Let me, let me make a note. Let me, uh, I'll make a note. I haven't read on him in a while. All right, he's coming up. All right, Trump's tax info, will it get oversight? Um, or just, oh, yeah, let's put oversight. So I need to make notes here. It helps me clarify what I'm focusing on, but it also helps me put in the timestamps, make things easier for, for everybody to find, find what they're looking for in the end. Well, this is happy. This is this is happy fighting Democrats. This is legal red tape being cut through. 
It's not like an overwhelming joyous feeling though. It feels good, but it's not like, hooray. I think probably because it's basically gonna be the most gargantuan pile, you know, the, the gar most gargantuan dead tree um, who, you know, it's gonna take a, a lot to go through them and put piecing stuff together. But there are definitely gonna be some happy, happy Democrats who have fought hard to get proper oversight. So they're in the near future. Yeah, they're going to be really dumb people who go to the wall for Trump. Don't do it. Don't do it. Use your brain. Do not go to the wall for Trump. Um, but they get caught up in the, the, but the legal red tape gets cut. So yeah, there's going to be some oversight. Is it going to be the spring, the summer? Is it going to make a difference? That is it. I'm going to make a diff. Trump's tax information. Will it get oversight? Will it make a difference in Trump's presidency? How much trouble he's in? Sienna is a, a wonderful Canadian who is saying that she's from Alberta and has never heard of someone in government blatantly ignoring a subpoena. Well, Sienna, welcome to America. Welcome to Trump's America. Well, no, welcome to our America where we have to put up with Trump. I think that's probably more. There better be some serious consequences for ignoring the subpoenas. That's what I think. Yep. Never thought, I've been on this planet for many years, says Beryl. Never thought we'd have a president who would be a puppet of Russia and Saudi Arabia, et cetera. Ig, exactly. Our legal system doesn't work anymore. When you get a subpoena, you just say no. But that's the thing. I mean, when Pluto plowing through Capricorn, what it's, what it's bringing up is, uh, you know, not basically it's, it's white collar crime. And it's also people like, Weinstein and, and people like that, where they've, they've gotten away with all of this horrific garbage for so long. And Pluto's coming through and just do, 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 nope, to kick that up, kick that up, kick that up. And, um, you know, it's like, okay, bringing this to light, bringing that to light, bringing this, you know, here, Ronan Farrow, there you go. And um, so that we can go, oh, you're going to jail. So, but, it, it, you know, it's not just with like Weinstein Me Too stuff. It's all of this corruption in, you know, Capricorn, it, it rolls high rises. It rolls the, the wealthy um, status. It's, it's status. The thing about Capricorn is all is heavy duty, heavy duty status. All right. Um, so with the tax information coming out, will it make a difference? This does, that wants to be sideways. Okay, fine. We'll do that sideways. As far as going back to when I was reading on the Supreme Court and I had that that feeling that like the male energy on the court, it was like they didn't like they don't like the housewives tarot. They don't they don't they don't like they don't know what the housewives tarot is. And it's it's just a general thought form feeling. But the energy was they don't like how female focused this is and they don't and there's this just this part of me that wants to say to like like single out even like just the Kavanaugh energy and say, oh, I'm sorry, this is, this is too female focused for you. Oh, am I, 
Oh, I'm sorry. Am I doing this reading without your consent? That is vile. Is, um, will any kind of oversight or release of Trump's tax information make a difference in election, in the election? If, oh, if Nancy Pelosi has anything to do with it, anything to do with it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. In the past, yeah, accountants have been cleaning up for Trump forever. Center the reading. And right now we don't have enough information. I mean, we know there's stuff there, but we don't have the information as Democrats. Democrats don't have the information. All right, this one is sideways. It's a lot of work that doesn't feel like it's going, it's gotten anywhere, which isn't necessarily true. Um, but it feels like it, you know? So there's that. Let's see if this light, can it, can it reach up as high as here? Maybe that'll be easier for you guys to see. I just really want you to be able to see the, see the cards better. Is that any better? I'm just checking. It's a little bit better. There we go. Hopefully you'll be able to see better then. Okay. Does SDNY have his taxes? Uh, state taxes, maybe. But, um, if federal is going to be especially important, but above the reading. Uh, yeah, well, this is where we are right now with, with the Republican Senate saying, eh, whatever. Eh, who cares? And the Democrats being able to step up and say, oh, okay, we've got this against him and this 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 is what just what we know about. And we know there's more than this. Oh, sorry. And again, the Republicans are like, eh. Near future. Oh, the fool and his secrets are soon parted because we know that's not higher wisdom and it doesn't feel like higher wisdom it 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 let's look at the other cards but it feels like a fool and his secrets are soon to be parted let's see home environment oh yeah america overall wants oversight they do. That's, that's why Democrats did so well in the 2018 election. It's why people are, there's so many people up in arms about what the Senate have done. It's, it's oversight. It's what we put you there for. Hopes and fears. Uh, yeah, well, Trump's afraid that if, and the Republicans, but especially Trump is terrified that if it comes out, he's going to be skewered. Not physically, but reputation, legally, just skewered. What other people see, there's so much. There's so much. There's so many cases. In the Rider weight, this is the, the guy carrying the big bundle of sticks, wands, staffs, staves, you know, whatever you want to call them. Um, this is that version of that, which in that other deck is always, has it, it, come up consistently as court cases. And that's, this feels like it as well. All these court cases trying to get information. No, we're gonna just clean up. We're gonna, you know, just clean this up behind Trump. No, you're not. I'm gonna, we want this in, no. Final outcome. Oh, Mitch McConnell again. Ooh. Okay, so Trump's financial information, his tax returns coming out. Um, I got this for near future, hopefully. Feels a little bit like a fool and his secrets are soon parted. Final outcome, I've got Mitch McConnell again, and I'm saying that through gritted teeth, Mitch McConnell. But this card I realize it's a it's just a page, 
but um, the cups it, it in this particular deck it's it's them having they being able to feed their base being able to feed their constituents and adding you know either adding or just pointing out one more sword in the orange fura's metaphoric back so is it going to make a difference yeah but mcconnell mcconnell's going to get in the way He's going to do everything he can to get in the way, but it may not work. Let me see if I can get any more information about this. Okay. Hello, Marie. There's so much. Investigators have so much. And, and I'm getting kind of a message of do not despair. Because I've been, you know, like I, I read on this energy and sometimes it just it can get like... If any of you used a weighted blanket where you're just, you're lying there and you pull that, um, you blanket on and it's like, oh, well, the energy has been like a weighted blanket on me. And it's, um, you know, it's like I'm trying to <laughs> climb my way back, back out from, from underneath that. And this does feel better because it's like, look. And I'm getting this feeling, do not despair. Do not despair. There are, it's like this, this didn't work. You know, the, even the impeachment trial getting, getting stopped by the most corrupt Senate majority leader in the history of our country. Who cares? There's so much else. It's like hitting the broad side of a barn and, and nobody's giving up. Nobody's giving up. So we're not going to either. So there. All right, this fine tooth comb, when it comes out, oh, this is lovely. This is lovely. This is going through every bit of that laundered money with a fine tooth comb and then con Trump being confronted. I know this isn't the traditional meaning of these particular cards, but this is what this feels like. Trump being confronted Oh no, I'm innocent. I'm innocent. Uh, yeah. What about this gargantuan? Uh, yeah. And oh, uh, uh, no, that's not me. Um, 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 um. Oh, thank you, thank you so much, Sabilla, Sabia. One day I'm gonna get your name right. I am someday. I'm sorry, but this is some happy, happy, um, active. It's not just like the king or queen of cups. This is, these are the knight of cups. This is the active person born champagne. So yeah, this is, that's going to be a beautiful moment. I just want to focus on this for a minute where Trump is confronted with something he can't deny. He'll try, but that look of shock when he's faced with wham. Is that what's going to get him out of office? Are, is the information in Trump's tax returns what knocks Trump out of office? What gets Trump out of office? I've got to make a note of that. Trump tax returns. Boots him out of office. Oh, oh. F -f 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 -f. <clears throat> oh, he's been getting money from places he shouldn't have. Oh, very creative accounting. Very. <laughs> Sienna just said tax returns be like wham, bam, screw you, ham. Sienna, I, that is awesome. That is awesome. You guys, you guys are funny. You guys are seriously funny. All right. Oh, you're toast. Oh, you're toast. You can't, it, you, it's black and white coming to light, you know, but oh, it's 
Oh, 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 what's this? What is this Five of Cups? I need to look at this. What is this? But, oh, it's going to be beautiful. Just with, with just what a crook he is. It's going to come out. It's going to be obvious. It's going to be like, you know, like on MSNBC, that show, you know, you need your morning Joe. It's, it's, but what is this? Wait a second. What is the Five of Cups? Is this raining on Trump's parade, raining on the Republicans parade, or is this, you know, it doesn't matter. But I thought the whole point here was, I'm asking, you know, does it get Trump out of office? I'm getting do not despair, do not despair. Just go on to the next sword, just go on to the next sword. The next sword, the sword after that, the, sp the sword after that, the sword after that. Just keep going. It's an endurance test. That's what this is. Judgment. Uh, Fox News are going to pick and choose. Of course, they're going to lie. This, this, just, this is just Fox News. This just feels... Yeah, they're, they're talking to a tiny little group of people. And um, who and that's not enough to get Trump reelected. It's tiny, 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 tiny. Um, let me see if there's anything more that I can find out about here. Ah, we're back here again. Uh, but things not just pounding away at this. This is this is Pelosi. This is starting to feel like the election. This is and, and it isn't necessarily the election day. It's like election overall. Um, and this is in our internal polls looking bad for Republicans. And Pelosi being, you know, the leader she is. This, yeah, Wheel of Fortune, this is coming up. So it's, um, it feels like Fox News is going to try to lie. But it's, yeah, this is, this is raining on Trump's parade. And it couldn't happen to a bigger jerk. And this is the breaking point. Oh, what lovely energy. This is a breaking point. Trump's corruption, enough. Okay, bye-bye now. Try to get, try to get um, it, just all the lies and, the, and then turning that on Trump, telling him one thing, doing something else. Uh, and then this is, this feels like Republicans re-racking you know, like in pool or some other things like that, where you're, they're like, okay, new candidates, new president, new, uh, new people. We're done with Trump stuff. We're done. We're done. We're done. Yes. Whatever. That's nice, Donnie. Okay. Trump gets his self-worth from his monetary status. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. I cannot take Fox News seriously at all. Just scrolled past very quickly. And um, you're not alone. You're not alone. Okie dokie. Uh, I was going to ask about Mnuchin. Do you guys still want to hear about Mnuchin? Have you guys seen... Um, have you seen Colbert's impersonation of Mnuchin? It's very funny. And I will never forget, they, after Mnuchin, he's the guy, he and his, his new bride, during the uh, American, what they call the American Eclipse in August of 2017, I think it was, and they just happened to take a government jet to... The, uh, to Fort Knox to inspect the gold, when in reality it was one of the best places in the country to look at the, the eclipse. And so, uh, and then there was a picture of it and someone pointed it out and Mnuchin's wife was 
Yeah, because Mnuchin, she was, it was just awful. She's, they're, they're both, they're both so money grubbing, money focused. And the fact that she dresses like Cruella de Vil does not help. Um, yeah, and then after that, there was a, there's a big PR article about, oh no, she's, she's, she's lovely, she's lovely. And the thing that she said and her neighbors, they talked to her neighbors or something, and, the, and both she and her neighbor said the same thing. They said, oh no, she's just a regular person. She has a bird feeder. I mean, that's, that's, they both, that's what they pointed out. She has a bird feeder. She's, she's a regular person. What the heck? <laughs> what? I, uh, what? What is that? All right, Mnuchin. Yes, that is the core of, because that is the core. That is the core of being a regular person. Because people who are super rich and full of themselves, they don't have bird feeders. What? <sighs> uh, Robert, not sure, but Autumn loves Halloween. And the season of fall. I do. I don't know what the question was, but if that's why, if somebody's asking why the channel is named uh, Black and Orange, yes, it's Halloween. Mnuchin. Don't call him Steve. He hates that. Yeah, and he, I, I want to say, was he one of the Bear Stearns guy? He... He was one of the, not Bear Stearns, it was one of those types of firms. His father worked there, and then after he went to his expensive school, he got a job there, and then he went to California and screwed a lot of people out of um, it screwed a lot of people out of money. Yeah, anyway. Oh, Stevie. Stevie Mnuchin, not looking good. Your aspic may come back to bite you. Be sure to call him Steve. Yep, Steve, Stevie, yep, let's do that. Mnuchin. Mnuchkin, that's cute. Hello, Becca. Okay, uh, in the past, oh, this is, this is not just secret, this is higher wisdom. Because, I mean, seriously, this guy is so full of himself. It doesn't even feel like secrets. It's, it's just, the world of high finance is too Byzantine for the likes of you mortals to understand the complexities of the... Oh, please go away. Center the reading. Um, if you guys, you, do you guys know the meme? Dollar, dollar bills. That's, that's what that feels like. That's him. Base of the reading. Money, 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 money. Bonfire of the, the vanities kind of big party of the super rich garbage. Steven saying, I'm changing my first name tomorrow. No, Steven, you're fine. You're good. You're good. There are very nice people named Steve. Stephen, Stevie, all of it. Now we're talking about Stephen Mnuchin. Yeah, above the reading. Oh, he's so easy to throw darts at. Seriously, this is a child, a child, Democrats, a child could do it. This, yeah, you're so easy to, to make fun of. Parody. Near future. Oh, Mr. Pipe and Slippers, are you going to be investigated? That looks like Mr. Pipe and Slippers is going to be investigated. Uh, as opposed to Mr. Slippers, who is Wilbur Ross. He's Mr. Slippers. He's, uh, many is Mr. Pipe and Slippers. Home environment. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Got to make the boss happy. Hopes and fears. Well, Trump's 
you know, that finally, you know, a, a metaphoric um, sword is finally going to, you know, enough of them are finally going to bring down the beast. Metaphorically, no violence. No, no violence. What we see, oh, he's a spoiled brat. Oh, he's a spoiled brat. Stephen, go do your chores. Okay, I'll put on my tux and go mow the lawn and you'll give me a thousand dollars, right? Of course. Final outcome. Oh, he's going to be confronted with some not nice stuff. Yeah, he's going to, um, he's going to say, he's going to show contrition, show how contrite he is, but he's not. It's just, he's just going to go back to yeah. I once read on him and it said uh, something about the possibility, actually what I got was a possibility of him maybe even going to jail briefly or having a suspended sentence or something. Um, and then after that I got he and his, he and his wife possibly having a healthy eight pound pot roast. Um, let me see if that's still So, uh, is, is somebody going to learn some humility in this lifetime? He doesn't have much of a defense. Or any. Or, yeah, it's pathetic. Um, the Democrats have the goods on him, and people who are sympathizers with the Democrats have serious goods on him, interfering, uh, obstruction of justice, uh, breaking laws, and um, that is essentially, Pelosi is the stand-in, is the leader, cleaning his clock. So, yeah, like suspended sentence, legal, Oops, there's um, too many. There are too many is what I'm getting from this huge pile of cards here. He, he kind of gets lost in the shuffle. There are so many, but oh yeah. He's, um, he definitely gets a black eye. But I don't know that, I don't know that he's going to like have to go to jail, but He's definitely going to get a black eye. And he's not, he's, he's not going to understand. He's, he's not going to be a social pariah amongst, you know, so he'll just, he'll just make his circle of friends smaller, people who have more money than they would ever know what to do with or be able to spend or, you know. How many yachts can you water ski behind kind of thing? More of a social pariah, exactly. So that's what I'm getting for Stevie. Stevie Mnuchin. Okie dokie. Uh, didn't Barr remove someone from the SDNY? Okay, I'm gonna, that is a great question. I am going to I am going to uh, read on that. It'll be my last thing because I'm, I'm getting a bit tired, but I feel so much better after you talking to you guys. Seriously, you have no idea. You have no idea how much you, you just being here, your energy has lifted me up. Let's do SDNY versus bar. In this corner, career prosecutors with integrity. In this corner, an evil potato. Thank you so much, everybody. Thank you so much for being here. Versus bar. 
You know how when potatoes, if, if you keep them too long and they go bad, they get that horrible stench? Yeah, that's a bar. All right, I think this is gonna be, it feels like it should be <clears throat> SDNY bar. SDNY. Card in the middle. Ding, 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 ding. Um, they're trying to keep some kind of civility at the moment, even though it's a sham and they know it's a sham and everybody knows it's a sham. And yeah, it, it, it isn't, but it feels like the world is at stake. That's what it feels like. All right. SDNY. Round one. There are going to be four rounds. Round one. SDNY. Going after the Emperor. Bar. Oh, okay. This is so funny. It's, it's like, a, oh, no, they're, it's kind of a stalemate because they're both... Round one is a stalemate because they both got equally powerful Major Arcana cards. Okay. Round two. Stevie's cake is melting in the rain. Oh my gosh. Bless you. That is hysterical. All right. Round two. SDNY. Bar. Oh, that's bar winning. Page of Wands. He tries to get going, but no, the establishment bar is corrupt. Rotten potato, evil potato stench is too strong. Oh no. Round three. Oh, but Trump is an idiot. Oh, again, Major Arcana. It's a stalemate, but it feels like this has a lot more... This has more power. It also has more PR power than the Temperance card. Okay, I think round three is leaning toward SDNY. And round four, SDNY, versus Ten of Cups. Oh, that's lazy. Oh, that's lazy. This is going, this is SDNY going through with a fine tooth comb, going the distance, hanging in there, struggling, doing what needs to be done. Oh my gosh, my nail matches the toilet. That's sad, but this is, Oh, we've won, we've won before. Seriously, this, the, lazy, 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 lazy. Can't stand up to that. That is, that's the, that's really the, the message of this era. This particular, I don't know if it's just, there's going to be this month or months, but it's keep going. Keep, doesn't matter what it, how hard it looks, don't get lazy. Do not get lazy. This is not the time. Just keep. It doesn't matter if you're if you try and you fail. Try again. Fail better. Fail harder. Fail more. Keep going. Be shift. Be shift in the the Senate. Doesn't matter if he knows that they're never going to take Trump out of office. He's up there. He's arguing. He's saying the truth. He's he's in a room full of half the people there think he's awful and are glaring at him and ignoring him and, and doesn't matter. He's up there. He's doing the right thing. So that's, that's the message there. You, you, and something I, I say myself, uh, which is give people rope, give people lots of rope because the bad people will hang themselves, not literally. That's not what I'm talking about. Bad people, if you just give them enough rope, they will. And, and every time we've lost the, the, battle, the, the battle, it gives Trump more rope. And what does he do? He immediately goes and tries to hang himself again, does dumb stuff. Um, Salome is saying he's already hanged himself and so the GOP and nothing matters. Nope. No, 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 but that's, that's what I'm saying. 
it's that you it isn't one let me see if I can dig out the it isn't one thing that's going to take down Trump and this is this is this is my final this is my final message and, and it's the one to please 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 take to heart okay because this is what I'm getting absolutely clearly and I'm going to very quickly go through here and try to find a particular card because this is what you have to exactly exactly what you have to keep in mind when um, people go hunting like boar hunting which I'm, I'm look I'm vegan I'm not uh, no, but it, it, there was a time it was a thing, but, or, or any kind of really large animal with a tough hide. Um, okay. Apparently I'm just never going to find this card. It, it, it wasn't that you could, you couldn't just go out and, you know, shoot one arrow and they're down or, you know, and all's well. See, I'm persevering. Look at me. Look at me persevering. Did I miss it? Maybe I missed it. I must have missed it. Doesn't matter. I'll just keep looking. Um, but it is, you don't take them down on the first, um, the first thing. It's not the first sword. It's not the second. It's, you just keep another one, another one. Point at it out again. Point out the next thing. Point out the next thing. There is, there it is. There is there is a point at which the beast will go down. And I'm not talking about violence. I'm not talking about, I mean, this is all just politically. This is all legally. The beast will go down with enough swords. It will. But it's hard sometimes, especially with all this gunk being thrown up. But there are good days ahead. Death by a thousand cuts. Yeah, it's, it will. It will count it will kick in it will hurt him it's just a matter of time as long as we keep persevering and i don't mix up my decks okay so thank you so much for everything and i realize you're frustrated i realize you're angry um you know and and the energy uh, you know i'm trying to survive this energy and it's just it's like okay i'm here but i'm gonna show up again tomorrow Yep. And in the future, the truth will be clear. Absolutely, Sienna. And, and thank you so much, everybody. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much to our moderators. Wow. You guys, you guys make this possible. Thank you. All right. And lots of love. I will be back here tomorrow. Thank you so much for being here. I will be back here at 12 central time, same pumpkin time, same pumpkin channel. And uh, we're just going to keep fighting the good fight every day, every day. All right. Joni's saying, I'm not angry or frustrated. I have full confidence 45 is going down soon. Let's listen to Joni. We're listening to Joni. All right. You guys have a great day. Have a great day. And I will see you tomorrow. All right. Bye-bye.